Hello everyone. Um, unfortunately, my stream just crashed, and I wanted to make sure that I show that it that the NPCs work now. Um, but I also had like an intro I did, and I wanted to have it in the video um, because I always upload the VODs. But yeah, I'm just gonna explain explain it and show it again now. So if you just create our pelican first, I'll just do that real quick. Um, yeah, so I showed, I, I had the stream where I did the quest system, um, but I completely overdid it and I wanted to show you guys this. So let me just move my camera actually. So the game is probably frozen right now, yeah. Um, so if you look close to the top right, right above my camera, you should see that I get a new quest when I press a button right now. Um, and then if I hit the yeah, if I open the inventory, you can see on the left that there is this little icon I added, and um, it says one quest and the pre-story talk to Cindy. And now if I would talk to Cindy, let me just do that right now. Blah, blah, blah. Then you see in the top right, oh, there's a little like arrow with the name next to it, which just says the quest advanced to the to the next stage. And now I need to place my home. And if I went went um, go ahead and do that. Let me actually just get the items from Cindy. Right now I have it in the dialog. It's it's gonna be different in the finished game. Um, but if I place my home now, then theoretically what happen what would happen is I place it and I get the quest completed. Pre-story because I placed the home and I don't have any quests left. Yeah. So if you're new to the game, if you're new to the channel, um it's basically a heavily it's it's basically a game heavily inspired by Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, it also has multiplayer, which I technically already implemented, but I need to catch up on some features. Um, so we'll have a stream for that someday. Um, but yeah, let me show you what the main mechanic of the game is. I have a lot of tools here, but the fishing world is, is uh, fishing world is one what you want to use. Oh, I cannot talk. So if I throw it out into the water, you will see that this little UI is opening and this is a rhythm game actually. So if I start tapping to a yeah, to a specific BPM, to a specific rhythm, it calculates the BPM of it and if I hit the start button, there's a random rhythm game generated. But it's a little bit boring if there's only single hits, so I implemented these kind of relics into the game, which you will unlock based on the biomes you unlock. And there will be like little quests for it. For example, this sand relic right here will be unlocked in the desert biome. Um, yeah, but I only have like these three implemented into the rhythm game because they change what is actually being generated in the rhythm game. If I just like do a little faster BPM, then you can see that I have triple hits, which is the red one. Oh, I failed. Then the blue ones are sliders. Oh, fail again. Yeah. And these white circles are just pause hits, and that's basically it. But actually, let me show you what I did with um, within the stream that just crashed. Unfortunately, I wanted to show it. So I'm uploading this video now. Exactly. So now um, we have like houses generated properly and with enough space to each other. There is only one variant right now, which is like this this home home. Um, I need to like design some other ones, but yeah, they work for now. And you see that for each house there is this little NPC or like a random NPC generated or asserted or asserted to and I can actually talk to them and there's a little bug where they still walk I need to actually fix that but it's not hard just one like condition I need to check but yeah to every house there is like one 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 random NPC like the callers are different it's, it's the same like the customers in your in your harbor yeah thank you everyone that just watched the stream um, have a good night and yeah Bye-bye.